again. I'm here in Walt Disney World at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh boy! And right now I'm on the Jungle Trek in Asia, and this might this next episode, the special episode, might not be very long, but behind me right now is a Komodo dragon, the largest lizard in the world, 15 feet long, three feet tall, 550 pounds, and. They're not only the largest lizards in the world, they're also the deadliest lizards in the world. They have been known to kill and eat people, and they're poisonous. Their venom is mixed with their saliva, which probably makes them the largest poisonous animal in the world. And their prehistoric ancestor, Megalania, was the largest poisonous animal that ever lived. Now I'm here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I've actually stayed here before, and I've even filmed here before once, and in in the back of this hotel, there's lots of African animals here. There's giraffes, zebras, wildebeest, Thompson's gazelles, impala, water bucks, kudus, and there's pelicans here too. And what's really cool is, in Africa, Zebras, wildebeest, and gazelles will often travel together. They all get along and eat the same food. Plus, traveling in a giant herd protects them from predators like lions and hyenas. Now I'm on another spot at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Behind me is a zebra. I think it might be a different species from the zebras we just saw back there. I think it might be a mountain zebra. The other species back there, I think, were plain zebra. There's three different kinds of zebras. The plain zebra, the grevis, and the mountain. And the grevis zebra is the biggest of the three species. It can weigh over half a ton. And it's recognizable because of its long, thin stripes and its big ears. And it's not only the largest zebra in the world, it's also the largest true wild equine in the world. Behind me are flamingos. These are greater flamingos. There's different types of flamingos and flamingos are the baleen whales of the bird world because they eat shrimp and fish and water bugs and they actually turn pink because of the color of the food they eat. They eat pink food and they can take in 20 beakfuls of water every second and they can actually drink water that's 140 degrees Fahrenheit which means they can stand in water that's 140 degrees Fahrenheit too. And if we tried standing in that in water that hot, the skin on our legs would scorch off. But not flamingos, their skin is more tightly packed to their leg bones, which is why they're much better at surviving in this kind of water than we are. Behind me are, I think they're called white-faced gibbons. Now, gibbons are a type of ape. They're not monkeys, they're apes. Monkeys have tails, apes don't. And there's different types of gibbons. And the largest gibbon in the world is the Siaman gibbon. And gibbons are the smallest apes in the world. And they're also the only apes that are not considered great apes. They can swing through the trees at 35 miles an hour and can cover 50 feet per swing. They're very acrobatic, and their arms are two and a half times longer than their bodies. Behind me is an American crocodile. American crocodiles are native here to Florida. In fact, they're the only crocodiles native to North America, and both the American crocodile and the American alligator are the only two crocodilians native to North America. But unlike the American alligator, however, the American crocodile is rare because it's endangered. And it's a large crocodile. It's 
23 feet long and weighs two tons. And Florida is the only place in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. They have met and they have fought before, but now there's also an invasive species being released here, the Nile crocodile. Just over there behind me is a giraffe. I think it might be a young giraffe. And as you know, the giraffe is the tallest animal in the world. It stands 20 feet tall, as tall as a two-story building, and its neck is half its height. That means a 20-foot tall giraffe has a neck 10 feet long. And what's interesting is, a giraffe has the same number of neck bones that humans do, only seven. But their neck vertebrae are much bigger than ours. And what's interesting is swans actually have more neck vertebrae than any other animal in the world. They have 25 neck vertebrae. And the, the prehistoric plesiosaurus Asmosaurus had more neck vertebrae than any other animal that ever lived. They have 80 neck vertebrae. And there used to be several different species in the giraffe family, but now there's only two left. The giraffe and its cousin, the okapi. Now, the tallest okapi ever was only seven feet tall. So yeah, it's a lot shorter than the giraffe, could, probably because it lives in dense jungles. But like the giraffe, though, it has to spread its front legs apart when it leans over to get a drink of water. And also, like the giraffe, it has a long prehensile tongue. But unlike the giraffe, however, the okapi is extremely rare. Thanks again for watching. See you on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.